DJ Morrison, and this is 10 things I love about my Terminator Cobra. Number one on the list of things that I love about my Terminator Cobra, it has to be the mean and aggressive look that it has. From the headlights to the front bumper, all the way back to the sleek look, and it just looks so Ah, it looks so mean. Look at the back spoiler and the bumper. I like the way the lettering is on the bumper. I just love everything about how this thing looks. It just looks real mean. And don't even get me started with the snake badges. They just look so aggressive as opposed to the Mustang Pony logo. I just like the snake even more. Next thing we have up is the headlight to fog light combination. Uh, Next to the 2013 and 14 Mustang, I believe these have to be the most aggressive headlights. And the fog lights, they just, they complement it so well. I like how the headlight housing is black stock for the Cobra. And oh, it just looks so mean whenever they're on and it's just the DRLs are on and the fog lights. I just love it. I love that combination. And next thing up, believe it or not, even though these seats are very old, they actually are very comfortable. And I like that they have the snake emblem embroidered in the seating and they're made of suede and leather and they just are like the perfect combination for how old the vehicle is. Other than the squeaking and all of that, I don't really care about that. And uh, I also like how you can change the bolstering if it's not fit to your liking. You can either widen it or close it up whenever you're on a road course or something and they feel real nice. The driver's seat is actually electric, which is a downfall kind of because it makes it heavier, but I mean, what a convenience. And one thing that is taken for granted that I love about this car actually, would be that you can charge your phone while the car is off. The key doesn't have to be in the ignition and it still charges. I love that. I love that feature about vehicles and I don't believe my Genesis did that. So I'm very grateful to have that. The next thing on the list of things that I love about my car, it just so happens to be, I believe the last thing in the inside will be that it's a manual transmission. And I'm a car enthusiast, so I love hearing myself go through the gears. I love the way it feels when I shift. And it's just an overall great experience. If you have an automatic, I advise you to go get a manual because they're better. And now we move on to the plus and minus of the car but i like it and that just so happens to be the irs i know i know that the irs are basically the worst part of the drivetrain on the car but i like it the only thing i don't like about it is the wheel hop but you can fix that easily with some bushings and beef up the irs a little bit stickier tires and you have yourself a great car but i like it just because i don't like the feel of a solid axle even though you can't really feel the difference, but whenever you're going on road courses or trying to corner, you can actually feel it a little bit. And here we have the dirtiest engine bay in the world, but it's not meant to be a show car or anything. It's meant to make power. And that brings me up to the next topic. That's one thing I love about this engine is it's so easy to make power. See this thing right here? Huh? You see that thing? You swap that thing out with a few more supporting mods, of course, like cooling and beefing up the rear end, like I told you, and you have yourself a bad car. These can easily, easily make 450, maybe 500 horsepower and torque to the wheels, and that's one thing I love about it. And you probably heard people say that they have made 700, 800, 900, maybe 1,000 horsepower on these engines, stock motor, except I'm probably not going to push mine that far. But who knows, it's in the future, right? And for all of you who don't recognize or just don't know what this is on top of the engine, it's the Eden Supercharger. As of now, mine is bone stock, but it still sounds atrocious. You ought to hear this thing coming down the street. It's just screaming at you, and I like that about it. And one other thing that I like about my car that I should add on to this is when paired up with a catback or just some off-road exhaust, this thing screams loud i love the rumble of the car i love everything about how it sounds it just performs nicely and it, it sounds like it should perform Last 
thing, but not least thing that I love about my car would have to be that it's just an iconic car. The people who know it on the street, they always tell me, oh man, nice car, or rev it up for me, or just something like that. And it's, it's that feeling that I love about this car. The reason why I picked this over a 50, the reason why I picked this over like a Z or something, because you just see too many of them. And this car is actually like a gym. It was, uh, it was setting the bar. It was like the standard of an actual race car at the time it was made, but I still love it to this day. But this just about wraps up this video. If you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, or you can just comment down in the section below and let me know if 10 things or five or just some things that you love about your car. And if you have a Terminator and you see some things that I didn't list on this list, then let me know in the comment section. And if you aren't subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel because we're a growing channel. We're almost to 1,000 subscribers, you guys. Give yourself a pat on the back. I do have some great things in store for this channel, and I hope you guys are a part of it. But like I said, this basically wraps up this video. If you haven't seen the 10 things that I hate about my Cobra, you can check out the card. I believe it's over there. And while you're doing that, always remember to do more, be more, believe more, and achieve more. Thank you all for watching.